you know, I came to Alaska 20 years ago as a young biology student, as a vegetarian, and someone with a very pure idea of what wilderness was. And my idea of wilderness has been winnowed and verified, if anything. And we need some sorts of economic development, but I think it's becoming clear to anybody who's paying attention to what's going on in the world that the culture we're living in now is going to be a flash in the pan. And we're headed for very rough times ahead. And as some of our esteemed native neighbors have said, who's going to be left standing when oil tops $20 a barrel? Or when our supply lines from outside are cut off, your freezer and my freezer goes dead because the power is over. So, once again, I hope you're hearing what's being said. I, I had an opportunity to paddle across most of the north slope of Alaska, paddled and hiked in liner boats, and traveled up the Chukchi Sea coast and inland up the Utakak and across down the Colville. And for oh, over a month, we didn't see another person. And then we got to the Colville Delta and looked out across the, the Lake Talk in Mumbara. Pluto Fields, and I, got, I would not want that in my backyard. I would not want anyone to say that that's what I have left my children. And that's what we're proposing to leave the children of the villages of interior Alaska. Uh, 